Hey guys, how you all doing today? Rexy's Gaming Bro here, finally back to do more videos for you guys on the channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed, enjoyed the content that I have put out over the last few months. I'm sorry that it's been quite small, but now that I'm finally on a break from school, I think it's time that we get back into doing more content. And for today's video, I want to start off with something that's rather small, but actually is quite important, as it involves a dinosaur that actually has become a fan favorite in the franchise. And I'm talking about none other than the demon Carnotaurus that appeared in both Fallen Kingdom's ending and in the Malta chase during Jurassic World Dominion. This dinosaur is actually one of the most important dinosaurs of the franchise, as for character specifics, it is actually the only one other than Rexy and Blue to have appeared in more than one movie in the franchise. And yes, you could include the Bull and Doe Rex as they cameoed at the end of Dominion. But apart from that little cameo, the Demon Carnotaurus that was seen in both Fallen Kingdom and Dominion is the only other dinosaur to appear in more than one film and having a role in them. And it's interesting why. But today's video is not going to be talking about that. Today, I want to talk about something more interesting, and that's its appearance in Dominion. Because last time we saw it, it was in California at the end of Fallen Kingdom, escaping from the Lockwood Mansion. And many people, myself included, have wondered what caused it to now be in Malta in the underground market. Well, today's video will go over that, and it, we may already have our answer of when it was captured, and it takes us back all the way to 2019. With that little piece of evidence in the way, let's begin. Here is my opinion on what happened to the demon Carnotaurus that we last saw in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> Now in order to do this justice, we need to look at where we last saw this specific Carnotaurus. Because make no mistake, while some of you may question if it is the same one, it has not only been confirmed, but has also been known f throughout most of the public since the first trailer for Dominion showed up. The broken horn Carnotaurus that was seen at the end of Fallen Kingdom is indeed the same one, as both are adults and clearly are the same with the same scars and broken horn. But ever since that trailer showcased it alongside an adult Allosaurus through the streets of Malta, many fans have been wondering, how did it get there? How did it get captured? Well, to tell you the truth, while we don't have any for sure canonical evidence, the answer may have actually came unintentionally through Battle at Big Rock, the same short film that introduced the audiences to the adult variant of the Allosaurus. Whereas in Fallen Kingdom, all we got to see is their juvenile counterparts, Battle of Big Rock showcased a half-blind adult Allosaurus, which was a female, I might add, that attacked our main characters, as well as, of course, the Nisutoceratops, hence the title. However, in that short film, not only do we get to see the adult variant of the Allosaurus, but it's actually mentioned through conversation what our answer may be for where the Carnotaurus went after Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> The ranger said that we should just stay calm and wait for it to go away. You heard what happened up north. Those were carnivores. That's an herbivore. Now, so the ceratops. As it's shown in the little cl clip from Battle of Big Rock, it's mentioned how they meant they meant the characters mention how there was an attack up north in California recently, as of the time of this taking place, which was in September of 2019. However, the daughter mentions to her family that this is not the work of a herbivore, but was of carnivores. Key word being carnivores. And this is where I think that it could have been the Carnotaurus from Dominion and also Fallen Kingdom's conclusion. And may have even been the same Allosaurus that was alongside the Carnotaurus. Because if we look at Allosaurus that was in Dominion, you can clearly tell it is an adult female. Because Colin Javaro and others have mentioned that the adult variants for males will have the red crest that was seen adorning the juveniles, whereas these two have clearly been shown to be females. The adult in Battle at Big Rock was confirmed to be a female, and because the adult in Malto did not have the red adornment on its crest, we know that it is a female. And we know that it's not the same one as in Battle at Big Rock, as the one in Battle at Big Rock is actually blind in its right eye. 
Whereas if you look at the Allosaurus in Malta, it is not blind in either one of its eyes. But the reason why I bring this up is actually because the key word was carnivores caused the incident. Now in Battle of Big Rock, the incident is between an Allosaurus and an Asuoceratops, but if we look at the canon status of what dinosaurs were collected by Eli Mills and his goons, we know that at least three Allosaurus were indeed captured and um, contained at the Lockwood Estate. However, we know that for sure one of them was sold. Now, due to how we've seen the Allosaurus and such, we know that the one that in Malta has to be the third Allosaurus from those three that were captured from Nublar. There's no other way to look at it because there's no way any other newborns would be adults at that point. It's only been four years since they were released. So because of that, we know that that could have been one of the other dinosaurs. But what's to stop us from thinking that it was also the demon Carnotaurus? We know that in the first year of the dinosaurs being out in the wild, we know that they were not actually spread out too far. They were still mostly contained in California, at least according to the canon from source materials. And this would be a really interesting thing to see to show that while these two may have caused some trouble at first in Battle of Big Rock's little dialogue scene, it's clear from Dominion how they sort of have a mutual respect for each other and actually team up to escape the Malta situation. Which brings up the question, what were they doing in Battle of Big Rock's time that caused them to get captured? And it clearly did get some attention from public, but that's a whole topic for another video. Anyway guys, what do you think? Do you think that the two carnivores that um, caused an incident up north in California that was briefly mentioned in Battle of Big Rock may have been this Carnotaurus and Allosaurus? And if so, what do you think this incident was? And also, would you like to see this Carnotaurus again? And if so, to what capacity, what role would you like to see it in a future project? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them all in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate a like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. And I want to thank all of you guys for coming back to the channel who have left for a while. And also for those who continue to support my channel, I want to thank you despite the fact that I've been absent for quite some time now. It honestly means the world. Now, as I said, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. And until next time, guys, stay safe.